Over the past four weeks, I've been putting Abbott's brand new biosensor, the Lingo, to the test. This system offers a number of exciting next-gen features that I've never seen in the continuous glucose monitoring space before. But there is also one big issue with this bad boy that Abbott needs to work on. So in this video, I will show you how this biosensor works and share my experience with it to help you decide if it might be a good fit for you. Just so you know, this video is not sponsored. I bought these biosensors myself. And honestly, if Abbott knew what I was going to do and say, I don't think they would have given the green light to publish this anyway. So how exactly does Lingo work? Well, in many ways, it's similar to other continuous glucose monitors that I've tested on my channel before. You apply the sensor that has a size of two stacked quarters on the back of your upper arm, connect it with an app on your phone, and the app will provide you real-time information about your blood glucose for the next 14 days. By the way, did you notice that the Lingo sensor looks a lot like the old Freestyle Libre sensor from Abbott? Actually, the hardware is pretty much identical because Lingo is based off of the Freestyle Libre 2 series. CGM platform. But they are not the same. There is a big difference between these two systems. Freestyle Libre is classified as a continuous glucose monitor, aka CGM. This means that in many countries you need a prescription from a doctor to get your hands on one of these. And to be fair, Freestyle Libre can get pretty expensive, especially if you don't have a good insurance coverage. On the other hand, Lingo is a biosensor that anyone can buy online without a prescription. The Lingo system has some pretty cool new features, and I'll get to those in a minute. But what really caught my attention is the price. Lingo is quite a bit cheaper than Freestyle Libre. You can go with a two-week plan that gets you one biosensor for $49. A four-week plan with two biosensors costs $89, that's the one I went with, or the 12-week plan with six biosensors for $249, which gives you the best value for money and saves you 15%. Lingo came in this fancy-looking dark blue box, but when I open it up, I realized that what's inside is just another white box that it looks very similar to the box of Freestyle Libre sensors. In the white box, I found the sensor applicator and the biosensor itself sitting in this container that could be easily confused with salad dressing. Before I applied the sensor, I had to download the Lingo app and create an account. The app then tried to collect some more information about me and my goals and took me through the setup process. The sensor should be applied on the back of your upper arm. And it's always a good idea to clean the side with an alcohol wipe, which was included in the package. While I was waiting for my arm to dry, I had to get my applicator ready. I peeled off the lid from the sensor pack, unscrewed the cap from the sensor applicator and lined up the dark marks on the applicator and the sensor pack. Next, I placed the whole combo on my desk and pressed down firmly to load the applicator with the actual glucose sensor. When you lift the applicator, you can spot the needle that is about to poke you. It's quite big, but don't worry, the insertion doesn't really hurt and the needle doesn't stay in. I went ahead, placed the applicator over the back of my arm, pushed down firmly to apply the sensor and then gently pulled out the applicator away and secured the sensor on my skin. As you pull the applicator, the needle comes out and the only thing that stays in is this tiny filament, which takes the readings from the underneath your skin, but you don't feel it at all. By the way, just like Freestyle Libre, the Lingo sensors are water resistant, so you can shower with them or even swim with them. To start seeing my glucose readings in the Lingo app, I first had to connect the biosensor with my phone. I placed the top of my iPhone over the sensor and waited for the phone to scan the sensor. Once it did, the phone vibrated in my hand as a confirmation that the scan was complete. And right after I applied the biosensor, the Lingo app immediately started to guide me. There are so many things packed in the app. And as you can imagine, I was super excited, but also felt a little bit overwhelmed by the amount of information. But I had to wait an hour to receive my first glucose reading from Lingo, because the sensor warm-up time is 60 minutes. Now, to be honest, the only thing that I was a bit disappointed at the beginning was the size of the biosensor. Lingo is based off of the Freestyle Libre 2 platform, and so the sensor is not exactly small. I was hoping Lingo would have the size of Freestyle Libre 3 sensor, which is significantly smaller and sleeker, but unfortunately, Lingo is quite a bit bigger and bulkier. The sensor adhesive is pretty good, though. Lingo stayed on really well, and when I was taking it off two weeks later, it was still holding on to my skin. Here is how my skin looks looked after I removed the sensor. There are no signs of irritation, but there is quite a bit of adhesive residue. The best way to get rid of this sticky residue is to use body lotion or any kind of oil. Let the oil do its thing for 5 to 10 minutes and then wash everything off 
with soapy water or another alcohol wipe. But let me get back to my overall experience with the Lingo platform. The main screen of the app shows you your daily glucose in real time. The number updates every 60 seconds, so you can virtually see how your blood sugar is changing minute by minute. Next to the glucose number, there is a trend arrow right here. This indicates where your glucose is headed, whether it's rising, dropping, or staying steady. And right underneath is the graph that shows you where your glucose has been over the past six to seven hours. These two dotted lines on the graph indicate the healthy glucose range, which for a healthy person is between 70 and 140 mg per deciliter, or 3.9 to 7.8 millimoles per liter. But here is the most interesting about the Lingo app. You see, I've been tracking my blood sugar for years. On this channel, I reviewed countless glucose monitors. And I can tell you that understanding my glucose and all the factors that impact it is one of the most difficult things I've ever tried. Now, what really stands out about Lingo is how it tries to simplify things. Instead of overwhelming you with too many numbers, it translates your blood glucose information into an easy to understand units called lingos. Right below your current glucose reading, you'll see your daily lingo count. When your blood sugar is in the normal range, the graph stays blue. But if your glucose spikes too high during the day, the line turns purple and your lingo count increases. When I first started using the sensor, my daily lingo target was set to 60 and I believe that's the case for everyone. But over time, the app can adjust your recommended target based on your results, or you can change it manually if you want to. At first, I thought that the goal was to hit at least 60 lingos a day. So I was feeling pretty good about myself because I almost always hit it. But then I realized it's actually the opposite. You're supposed to stay under your target. And that's where I realized that I'm actually not doing so well. Now, this might be controversial, but another thing that I like is that Lingo app is not bombarding you with notifications and reminders. It works quietly in the background. You only get one notification a day and it's just a friendly reminder to check your data from the day before. When you do take a look at the Lingo graph, you'll see that it highlights events where your blood sugar spike and how many Lingos each spike cost. That's super helpful because you can click a little plus button and lock things like food, exercise or stress that might have caused each of those spikes. Another thing I like is that I can look back at my data, not only from yesterday, but from weeks or even months ago. The app keeps all the graphs and events easily accessible so you can track trends over time, zoom in and out on the graph and view all the details. But here is one thing that I found a bit confusing. The system doesn't really explain how exactly it calculates the lingo counts. From what I noticed though, the count seems to go up quickly whenever my glucose spikes sharply and stays high for a while. On the flip side, when my glucose stays stable, and in the optimal range, the line stays blue and the lingos don't add up too much. I'm sure that one thing you're curious about is how accurate the lingo readings were when I compared them to a conventional glucose meter. I pricked my finger and tested this numerous times and I'm happy to report that except for the first 12 hours where the readings were slightly off, the lingo biosensor was very accurate. Most of the time it was extremely close, if not exactly on point. And to be honest, the Lingo app looks amazing. The graphics are clean and modern, navigating the app is intuitive. It's one of those apps that just feels good to use. Honestly, I can't believe that Abbott was able to come up with something so beautiful, especially when we think in the context of the Freestyle Libre 3 app, where you can't even zoom in on the glucose graph. I really wish Libre app could get some of those nice visuals and practical logging features. So I hope you're listening, Abbott, and taking notes. But to be fair, we have to keep in mind that there are major differences between Lingo and Freestyle Libre systems. So the app design is definitely not the main factor when you're choosing the right system for you. The Lingo only measures blood sugar in the range between 50 and 200 milligrams per deciliter. So whenever you are above or below this range, you won't know what your exact glucose is. Now, I'm not a big fan of this limitation, but I understand why it's there. What I do like is that Lingo also has a glucose trends section with insights about your average glucose at different times of day, percentage of time you spend in the healthy glucose range, and your glucose variability. Again, the visuals in this section are very different from how Freestyle Libre presents this kind of information. Now, one thing I absolutely love about Lingo are the weekly check-ins. Basically a summary of how you did over the past seven days. At the end of each week, the app asks you how you feel, gives you a snapshot of your average glucose and Lingo count. 
and highlights anything you should focus on going forward. I just love how simple and helpful this feature is, and I wish it was available on Freestyle Libre as well. Now here is what Abbott says about Lingo. It is designed to help you understand your metabolism, build healthier eating habits, and take control of your overall health. And they included a few unique features to help you do just that. One of them is weekly challenges, like making simple food swaps or logging everything you eat. By the way, I tried this one, but I failed because I missed a day. The app also gives you a few simple suggestions throughout the day, like taking a 15 minute walk after lunch. While these are helpful, I didn't explore all of them because my goal was not spend too much time with the app. I wanted to use it as a normal person, not as a complete nerd, which I probably am. But if you do want to get nerdy, then definitely check out the discover section of the app where you can find numerous glucose-related articles, educational videos, recipes, and much more. It's basically a full coaching program focusing on improving your metabolic health. Now, I feel that I have to make one thing absolutely clear. Lingo doesn't have features like high and low blood glucose alerts or sharing your data with the caregiver. And this kind of makes sense because Lingo is designed for health-conscious individuals or anyone looking to optimize their lifestyle. It's not designed for people with diabetes and it shouldn't be used for medical purposes. Now, I already see you writing a comment and asking, Tom, you do have diabetes, so how come you were able to use Lingo? Well, Lingo can be purchased over the counter. Anyone can buy it. In my case, I was using it off-label because quite honestly, Lingo provides me many of the benefits of a CGM at a significantly lower price. The fact that I'm a type 1 diabetic also explains why it was very difficult for me to keep my Lingo count below 60. This is pretty damn hard thing to do when your body doesn't make any insulin. To make it clear, I do not recommend diabetics to use this system, but I can see how some people might want to use it off-label just like I did. Now, we still need to talk about a few issues I had with Lingo and one big flaw of this system that every potential customer should know about. But first, I want to take a moment to thank all of you supporting me on Patreon. Without you, I wouldn't be able to buy and test all these devices and do these honest reviews. If you're not part of my Patreon community yet, now is the perfect time to join. You'll get direct access to me, bonus content, and it's the best way to support this channel. Link to my Patreon is down below. So here are the issues I had with the Lingo system. The first thing I'm not a huge fan of is how much information the app wants to know about me. Everything from my motivation and living situation to cooking habits and even my gender identity. I get that it's trying to personalize my experience, but it feels like a lot to share. And I'm not totally sure how some of this information will actually translate into a better app experience. I might be a bit too cautious here, but it makes me wonder where all this information is going and how it's actually being used. Another issue I have is not with the product itself. It's with how it's being marketed. Abbott offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, but it only applies to your first purchase of the 12-week plan. This feels a bit sneaky because I can imagine most new viewers just buy one or two sensors to test the system out first. Why not make the money-back guarantee available to everyone? The next issue I have with Lingo is a bit of a personal one. Lingo is not available in the country where I live, which is Switzerland. Right now you can only buy it in the US or UK. In the US, a single sensor costs $49, but in the UK it's £59, which is about $75. So buying in the US is a lot cheaper. And if you live elsewhere, you need to get a bit creative. Now, all the issues I mentioned so far might just be small things, but here is a bigger problem. To use Lingo, you need an iPhone. Right now, Lingo is not compatible with Android, and that's a major letdown. Abbott, you need to fix this ASAP, okay? Guys and girls, if you are Android users, I know you must be feeling totally shattered right now. But I have good news for you. Lingo is not the only reasonably priced biosensor on the market. A few months ago, I tested Dexcom Stello, which is a competitive over-the-counter glucose sensor available for both iPhone and Android. If you want to check out my Stello review, click here and watch this video next. And hey, if you'd like me to do a head-to-head -head comparison of Stello and Lingo, drop a comment down below. Ciao!